Do my own today in the name of Jesus. Do my own. 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 In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, I just God. I pray, Father. Do my own today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Do my own today. My Father, my Father, my Father. Do my own. Do my own. Do my own. Answer my prayer. Oh, my Father. Remember me for good. 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 Oh Lord, I pray the name of Jesus. Oh my Father. Amen. If you just said amen, please say louder amen. 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 Our dear Father, we bless and we worship you. We give you praise, Lord, because you are our God. You are worthy to be praised. You are all in all. Thank you, Father, because you have done it before. Thank you, Father, because you are not tired of doing. And thank you because you will do it again. Our Lord and Father, we have come. We have come because we know no one than you. We are not putting our trust in anyone but you, Lord. You have never disappointed any before. And you can never disappoint us now. Lord, we have come from all the continents. We have come, Lord, to call one name. And that name is the name of Jesus. Lord, that name will not put us to shame. We Amen. will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. You, Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, don't worry. I will start teaching people how to say a louder amen on all of our platforms, and that amen will reach down to heaven and bring down all the blessing that is meant for you and put it upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. I will not mind that kind of amen. 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 Today, we want to pray. We have come to pray. Come to pray. And before we pray, I want to charge us with this. The topic, as we have all seen it, is I shall not be late. I want you to say it. I shall not be late. I shall, I not, shall be not be late. late. Some people have been late in life. Some people are never in time. Some people have ever experienced it at the later hour of their life. Some people will not even get it in pursuit to have it, to have it. They, they, they set their hands on different things. Some of them are no longer on the way because they came just too late. But I tell you tonight, you will not be late. Amen. I want to also look at the book of Genesis chapter 27. Where the key verse we are looking at is Genesis chapter 27, verse 30. Look at it, Genesis 27, verse 30. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an hand of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was cast brought out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Now, if I want you to understand uh, the background of this, uh, of, of, of what happened here, I will say you should turn your Bible with me to the book of Genesis chapter 27, verse 1. Genesis chapter 27, verse 1. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his elder son and said unto him, my son. And he said unto him, behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old, and I, I, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapon and quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison, and make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah had... When Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the feed to ask for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I had thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, 
bring me venison and make me suffer me that I may eat and bless thee before the Lord, before the Lord, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. According to that which I command thee, go now to the flesh and fetch me from there two good things and uh, two gifts of gold, uh, uh, of gold. And I will make this savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father, that he might eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said unto Rebekah, his mother, Behold, he saw my brother, is a hearing man. And I am smooth man. My father, peradventure, will kill me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy, be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made several meat, such as the father loved, and Rebekah took goodly remains of her elder son Israel, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skin of the kids of the goats upon his hand, and upon all, and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the several meat and the bread which uh, she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he said, and he came unto his father and said, my father. And he said, here am I, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thy base me arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison that thou that I so may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found this so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father. And he felt him and said, Thy voice is Jacob's voice. But the hand at the hand of Esau. Uh, Esau. And it designed him not because his hand were early, and his brother Esau, and so he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. Yes, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought him near unto him, and he did eat, and brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come now, near now, and kiss me, my son. Now the fever. And he came near, and kissed him, and he smelled, uh, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a seed which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, God give thee of the dew of the heaven and the fatness of the heart and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nation bow to thee. The Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cause be everyone that causes thee. And blessed be everyone that blessed thee. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an hand of blessing Jacob, and Jacob was yet cast down out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Uh. I know if you have been following, then you will say it louder, Amen. Amen. And Amen. I said, the topic for today is, I shall never be late. Please say it one more time, I shall never be late. I shall never be late. I want you to bow down your head now and tell the Lord anything that will hinder my prayer, Lord, tonight, please take it away. Anger, please, Lord, take it away. Unbelief, please take it away. Faithlessness, 
me take it away. Whatever will stand against my prayer tonight. Mighty Father, Please, I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything that will stand against my prayer tonight, today, O oh God, remove it in the name of Jesus. Anything that will stand against my prayer, O oh God, remove it. Remove it. I will not pray in vain. 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 Oh God, anything that will hinder my prayer, remove it in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, remove it. Oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, remove it. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, remove it. Anything, oh God, I want to stand against my prayer. Anything, any habit, oh God, anything known or unknown. My Father, anything that I want to hinder, oh God, this sweet hour of prayer, oh God, from being answered in my life, oh God, take it away. Who oh God take it away? 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 Any strong man, any strong woman, anything whatsoever that want to stand against my prayer today. Oh God, remove it by the blood of Jesus. 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 Anything. I want to stand against me and my prayer and my answers to prayer and the testimony, my Father, in the name of Jesus, remove it, oh, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. in the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, Father, Lord, the time has come now where your people have to possess their possession and your people have to be in time, Lord, whatever is filthy, whatever is unforgiving, whatever cause pain that brings about a decision that you do not like. Lord, we brought it and we bring it before you, Lord, today. Take it away, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. we want every prayer here today. We want them to be heard in the Amen. name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Amen. In Thank Jesus you, Lord. name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of John chapter 27, verse 5. John chapter 27, verse 5. John, uh, Genesis, I'm sorry, Genesis 27, verse 5. If you are there, say amen. Amen. Genesis 27, verse 5. And Rebecca had, when Isaac Spake to Esau his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. The key verse here is this. And Rebekah had. Somebody said in one of his confessions, he said, When I want to penetrate to a house, the only thing that will show me in my spirit is where the wardrobe is. Once I know where the wardrobe is, I will now come near the wall outside and turn myself to a wall gecko. Once, once I turn myself to a wall gecko, I will appear in that wardrobe. You know when you see the wall gecko in your house, you, it's no cause for alarm because people call them wall gecko. For somebody that come from my uh, from my uh, uh, from my language, they will say omonile, that meaning that okay, they are supposed to be there. Wall gecko. And so, when they manifest themselves through their wardrobe, they begin to hear every of your conversation. You know what, 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 what even baffles me? If they are not hearing you very well, they come out through that same wardrobe and begin to walk through your world. And then you are discussing, this is what I want to do. I have tried this one, it's not working. But now, this is what I will do. Look at it. And, and Rebecca had... When Isaac spoke to Esau, that contract you are talking about, when will that contract come out? Sorry again, how much do you call that contract? It's about $27 million. Oh, Lord, let that $27 million, let it come to pass. Let them call me. They said they will call me this week, and they will walk back or head it. And carry that information and carry it to the wall of darkness, you know. Some of us call ourselves Christians, but we are so lazy. We are so weak in place of prayer. 
some cannot even pray three hours in one day. So if you pray one hour in one day, you will want to explain to God how your curriculum is so high. And Rebecca had it. That was the beginning of Jesus' program. Rebecca had it. You are going to pray. Every power that is listening to your conversation of progress in life, that the Holy Spirit will make them dumb in the name of Jesus. We make them deaf in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, every power, oh God, in the name of Jesus, every power, oh God, in the name of Jesus, every power, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, let them deaf, 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 Every monitoring agent, every monitoring gadget, who God I pray, every monitoring animal, who God listen to my conversation of good news, who God that want to ask, who God that want to intercept, who God the testimony that you have said for me, who God I pray, let them be blind, let them be dumb, let them be deaf, in the name of Jesus, who God I pray, Father by your power and by your might, who God. Let them be dumb. Let them be deaf. Let them be blind. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my Father, I am in the mass of oh God. Every power monitoring my progress. Every power monitoring my movement. Every power monitoring my success. Every power monitoring me. Oh God. Father, wherever they are. They come it's like a war gecko. Who oh, go wherever they are? They come like lizard. Who oh, go wherever they are? They come like cockroach. Who oh, go wherever they are? Who oh, God I pray? Who oh, God set your fire upon them? 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 Who oh, God make them? To be deaf, oh God, they will not be able to listen anymore. My Father, oh God, arise, oh God, arise, oh God, arise, oh God, arise, oh God, arise. Any monitoring spirit, any monitoring there, anyone who God sent to spy my liberty, oh God, my Father, I pray, oh God, bring them in and let them be born in the name of Jesus, oh God, I pray. By the power of the Lord, any one, any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, who go set money to to spy my liberty. Oh, my father, whoever they are, whatever they are, the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. Oh God, the blood of my blood. Oh God, I pray. Anyone sent to spy my liberty, anyone sent to stop me in life, I am unstoppable. Who oh go visit them with your thunder? Who oh go visit them with your fire? Who oh go visit them with your fire? Who oh go in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Father, my Father, the chariot of heaven and the earth standing for every gent of darkness. Who oh go send to spy my liberty? You, your time is up. 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 Be visited by fire, be visited with thunder in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, my God, my Lord, my King, I am asking for God. Any money, any power, who God that is monitoring my progress, monitoring my success, monitoring the over, who knows they will go fire, who go upon their head, in the name of Jesus, who go let your thunder, who go let your thunder, let your heart, who go be manifested upon their head, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Holy Father, righteous God, mighty Father. Amen. Amen. That's somebody that is praying. You know when you are praying, you know. And the Holy Spirit also knows. Amen. 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 There was a man. That man, God favored him one day. He got a contract. And so he was working in another state. 
It was working in Katangura. While uh, the family is in Lagos. And the way God so blesses the work of his hand, he came home and told his wife, he said, see, I am going now. The next time I come back here, I am going to buy you a car called Bench Car. And when he said it, the enemy heard it. As the enemy heard what he said, as he went there, he got to the place of work. He discovered that another government had taken over. And as another government had taken over, they put the work on hold. Because the place was so far, it's so far, they said, we will get back to you. They waited one month, they waited one year, they waited two years to discover that the contract had been given to another person. So the man, while he was trying to pack the pieces of his life, he said, let me go back and let me go and get the truck, the very big truck we used to deliver material. After all, that one, if I sell that one, that one will give me money. By the time he got there, he discovered that a closest friend to him had sold that, that truck. He has sold it out. Police case and everything, they told the man, you better run away from your, for your life because they are going to kill you in this village. And so the man came home empty. The car he took there, he came home empty. The truck he had, he came home empty. The engine is using to work. He came home empty because the enemy had it. You are going to pray. Every evil hand that has fought my business, every monitoring hand that are monitoring my system, and they said they would drive me to the point of poverty. In the name of Jesus, I put them in prison. Somebody Amen. open your mouth and say, Oh God, I my Father, I, I come before you, oh God. Every eye monitoring me, every ear listening to my progress. Oh God, I come the name of Jesus. I put you in the prison. I put you in the prison. I imprison you. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every eye monitors my progress. In the name of Jesus, you are in prison. You are in prison. You are in prison. You are in prison. I put you into the prison of heaven. I put you into the prison of heaven. I put you. I put you into the bottomless pit. In the name of Jesus, every power monitors my progress. If you spread your power in the blood of Jesus, the one that is bless that brother in Jesus' name. Amen. In Genesis chapter 27, verse 19, and Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau thy firstborn. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau thy firstborn. He said, I have seen servants walking on us, riding on horses. And I have seen princes walking, walking, barefooted. I've seen people, princes, walking, walking, barefooted. And I have seen princes. Princes riding on horses. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. Let me tell you, there are some people, they are meant to use their glory. But, you know, demon will keep telling you that this glory is too big, this glory is too big, this glory is too big, as if they are the one that designed that glory there. And so they carry that glory, they give it to another person. And then you will see, ah, now my cousin is riding Jeep. I am begging, please help me, please help me to give me one that I could not. He's doing for outsider, but he cannot even do for me. And somebody is out there making use of your glory, and you are here working as a servant. You are going to pray, wherever my glory is, 
whoever is impersonating my glory. In the name of Jesus, I call the fire. Let the fire destroy the enemy. I collect back my blessings. Oh God, anything they have collected from me, I take it back. 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 In the name of Jesus, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back by the power of the Lord. By the power of the Lord, I take it back. By the power in the blood of Jesus, all that I would all my blessings that I take it all that I've been taken from me. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. No longer be reversed this morning. Be reversed this morning. In the name of Jesus, I never let all the stranger. We get personality I take it by phone. My promotion. I take it by phone. To make sure I don't get to what you have for me. Let those people personality take it by phone. In the name of Jesus. All that I've been taking from me. I take it by phone. 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 I
And he discerned him not, because his hand were airy, and his brother Esau's hand, so he blessed him. The key verse here is, and he discerned him not. My brother, it is not everybody you can lay your hands on. Somebody was telling me something yesterday. He said the brother was going. He was going. He now saw somebody that was uh, crippled or was mad. And he go to that point. He saw that person. Before the brother carry anointing, he saw that person. And he felt he had that power. He had everything. As he saw that person at that point, he began to pray. I command you, oh, you have raised up and walk. And the miracle happened. And the person rose up. Now, a lot of things begin to go in the kingdom, begin to happen in the kingdom of darkness. Why the person became whole and the person was healed, the king returned back to the head of that person that prayed. That is why the grace of yesterday is not enough today. You cast that demon yesterday did not mean that you have the same ability to cast the one of today's house. Let me tell you, there are different powers that operate in this territory. As you pray for this one, the demon jump out. You say, wow, I have power over demon. Do you also know that there are principalities? He said, Peter, I know. Paul, I know. You, who are you? These are principalities. You are not talking about ordinary demons. When you are talking of witches, you are talking of demons. But when you are talking of principality, you don't just cast out principalities. And they come and I declare, I command you, become here now. Right in that person, the person became dead. That same man that commanded the person to heal, he became healed. The one that gives you that authority became dead instantly. What happened there? Will you be calling the name of Jesus and you, 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 you there are same power that are greater than you? No, he was living on yesterday's blessing. And he could not discern. And he discerned him not because his hand were hairy. There are people they will come to your house, they will say, please, can you help me? There are people you see on the road, and then you want to give them helping hand. They are beggars on the road, please, can you help me? Our pastor told us something last week. He said, do you know that when you give, those people that are begging for money, you give them money. You give them money. He said, some people, at the end of the day, those beggars, they will have like 2,000 naira. And before the end of the day, another person will come and tell them, please, sell, sell your 2,000 naira for me. Let me give you 15,000 naira. Sell that 2,000 naira. Give me this 2,000 naira. Let me give you 15,000 naira. At the end of the day, they carry that 2,000 naira. They go and use it to do ritual. Every hand that has touched this money, that put this money, that give it to the poor, oh yeah, begin to collect their treasure. Begin to collect their... Then you collect salary. You don't know what you do with that salary. Because you could not discern in your spirit whom you should help and who you should not help. Mm. I was told about somebody. God so blessed that man very well. And so in the church, he told Pastor, who can I help here? And there is somebody, his mother just died, his father just died. Not knowing that this girl was the same person that killed his father and killed his mother. And then they said, well, there is one sister here, she's also good too in the church. Can you please help? Then that one bring him to his house. Oh yeah, come to my house. I'm ready to help you. I will send you to school. I will send you to this one. And then that one came to the house and begin to take care of the children. Begin to <laughs> it got to a time when the lady got admission. We call it we call her sister. So let's use sister. But when she got admission, she gained admission now, she was in school. And each time she called the, the the man that she stayed in the house, she will now be asking those those after those children who say, hey, what about my children? What about my children? The, the, remember oh, that same man has his own wife or oh, has uh, the, the mother of the children. Mm -hmm. But this same girl, which is the sister now, that again admission, we now be asking, How are my children? And now at this point, the girl begins to afflict that family. The girl begins to afflict that family. He got to a stage that the when when a minister of God was praying, they saw a skeleton that stand in between uh, that was lying <laughs> on the bed. 
in between the husband and the wife. Sleep in between the two of them and say, see, you don't know anything. My purpose is to come and scatter this family. I want to throw away that woman so that I can marry that man. And that is why I will say, I, 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 how are my children? And so it has, it, it has even gone to the point that the, the, the man will sleep and they will begin to dream that they see that guy, they'll be kissing each other and all. If not for the grace of God, if not for the grace of God, that, that, that family will have scattered and he will have killed that woman like he killed her mother and killed her mm. father and he will have taken over that family. Why? Because there are no discernment of the spirit. Because we are not accurate in our mind. And then you go and say, this one needs help. I have money now. Let me help. This one needed attention. Let, let me give attention. You see, it is not everybody that comes from counseling that you counsel. There are some people that what they want to see is to evaluate your Christianity. Is to evaluate the kind of anointing you carry. Is to look at who you think you are in the kingdom. And so they come, they say, I, I want to cancel in pastor. Look at what I am going through. Look at what is happening to me. And it discerned in now. There are no discernment. This is one of the gifts of the spirit. I therefore want you to cry to the Lord. See, a life that is lacking of discernment is vulnerable to deception. I want you to pray and cry to the Lord. Please, Lord, give me the discernment of the Spirit. I want to be accurate in my mind. Somebody open your mouth and pray. I want to be a but as me this woman of the spirit of discernment, who look to discern when the enemies are here. Lost to action, stop the plan of the enemy that fell in the name of Jesus. Low but as me, the spirit of discernment. Oh, low but that's the gift of the spirit. The problem is man and for my children. Oh, low, the spirit of discernment, knowledge and wisdom. Open my spirit, I open my spirit. Lord, visit me this morning. I'm praying for your divine visitation. Deliver me from my own, deliver me from my stubbornness, deliver me from my own belief. Go from my hardness of my heart. Open my heart to your push. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my King, my Lord, my Father. But as me in the name of Jesus, with the spirit of discernment, I need to discern, oh no, whatever is you or the enemy, close and take action according to your power. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and not my eyes, and not my ears, and not my spirit, and not my heart. By the power in the blood of Jesus, lay your hand on me, whatever that keep me in current, whatever that keep me in the dark, God of heaven, remove it from my spirit, remove it from my life, every evil personality keeping me in the dark, the word of God says, in, the, in, the, in you was light, the light was the light of the world, the light shone in the darkness, let your light shine, so shine in my darkness, let my darkness vanish, Oh Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, deliver me from all my ignorance. God, give me the gift of discernment. But as with the gift of discernment, dress me, clothe me, Father, with the gift of discernment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Versace, look at what happened here now. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob. And, and Jacob was yet first born. Out from the presence of Isaac, his father, that he saw his brother came in from his country. No, that is rather too late. That is very too late. Do you know that what the devil wants is that he wants to kill his victim after he has been killed and they have put him in the corner in the in the tomb? Then the devil will now come and tell you, take your glory, take that to your thief. He said, The thief cometh not but to steal, he steals your glory. 
after stealing that glory, the next thing they will come is to come and kill. After he has killed and he has destroyed that person, finish. So, and that person is confirmed dead. So when you see him again, I become a ghost. So he, he has been confirmed dead. After he has been confirmed, they will not carry your glory. Take your glory. It is too late. Too late again. Hmm. You don't need it again. Now look at it. Jacob, uh, Jacob already came and he has sold the show. And then the owner of the glory came. After he has sold in the show, there was nothing left again. For Jacob as far as God. My God. You are going to pray. I want you to hold the hand of his garment. Hold the garment of Jesus and say, Lord, my destiny will never be late. My glory will never be late. My destiny will never be late. My glory will never be late. My glory will never be late. My destiny will never be late. My glory will never be late. In the name of Jesus. My destiny will never be late. My glory will never be late. In the name of Jesus. My destiny. My glory will never be late. We 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 never be late. In the name of Jesus. My glory. My destiny will never be late. In the mighty name of Jesus. My glory. My destiny. We never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory, my destiny. We never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory, my destiny. We never, we never, we never, we never be late, be late, be late, be late, be late, be late, be late. In Jesus' name, my dear Father, I pray for God. My glory, my destiny will never be late. 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 My glory and my destiny will never be late. My glory and my destiny will never be late. My glory and my destiny will never be late. My glory and my destiny will never be late. My glory and my destiny will never be late. My glory and my destiny will never, will never, will never be late. In the name of Jesus, my glory, 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 my destiny. We do not have this. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my glory and my destiny. My glory of destiny will never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory of my destiny will never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory of my destiny will never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory of my destiny will never be late in the name of Jesus. My glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, and my destiny will never, will never, will never, will never, will never be late in the name of Jesus. My destiny shall not be delayed. Oh, is it when you are the power of the blood of is Jesus? Is it when you carry the name of Jesus? Is it when you carry the name of Jesus? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when you want to make it for your glory? Is it when in the man of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and the power in the blood of Jesus, oh God, King of glory, remember me today, see me today, oh Lord, and restore my bless, my lost and blessed, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because of our time, there are a lot of uh, testimony I have here, and uh, some have been sent to my uh, uh, prayer request. Sorry, uh, and uh, some that are sent to my uh, platform yeah. here too. There are very many. But the summary of this thing is that their glory has been tied somewhere. And that is why they are experiencing delay. Delay, delay. You, you know what the devil does? He uses delay tactics. And when he has delayed mm. that person, he will delay, delay, delay. See, that thing is not useful again. And so when it's not useful again, you say, yeah, take, oh, take all of it. When it's not useful again, take, take all of it. My God. Mm. And all those requests we have here tonight, we want to release their destiny onto them now. After today's Amen. prayer, there will be no delay again. Amen. Amen. Oh, I know they are not hearing me. That's why they are not saying amen. amen. I, I will say it again. Amen. amen. I know, no, I will even say it again. After the prayer of tonight, nobody will experience delay again in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want you to open your mouth now and begin to pray for this. Just start prayer requests now. Those that have 
have been tired. Those that they are tired, they are glory. Holy Spirit, let it be released now. Let it be released oh, now. God, 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 God,
know that God is going to answer. Mm-hmm. But the power and the blood of Jesus, I, by December, mm-hmm. every of us will have testimony in Jesus' name. I, Amen. And it's very great. And the, the, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our joy will be full in Jesus' name. I see Amen. Mm-hmm. OP. Uh, fortunately, he has not gone. Oh, oh mighty God. I see gone. Uh, I see one OP. Uh, yes, the person writes OP. Is he on the line? Yes, they are still yes, on the sir. line. Ah, uh, please. So, this is a time of free check. Free check. So, we want you to say whatever you want. You want God to do for you before December. And then all of us, we are going to pray for you. And then do not forget that all our pastor, there is no gift. That is restricted in this particular level, uh, this particular uh, uh, area we are. So God will honor every one of us in Jesus' name, and God will honor your gifts in Jesus' name. So please quickly tell us what God, you want God to do for you. Yeah, and uh, all of us we are going to pray. You are waiting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Mike, Pastor Mike, please listen very well, sir. Continue. The person that is OP, please continue. You put OP on your on your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's my my name is Peter. So I want the people of God to pray for me that God should increase me more and more every time. Amen. 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 That's compound prayer. Increase me both spiritually, materially, financially, and all area of things. I, I want to quickly share a testimony one thing. One day I call Pastor Dada. No, this not even go. <laughs> you know, the representative, representative of God. And then I call him. I say I want to go and do one thing. That I need water. And then I couldn't ask for the full money. So I think I asked for two hundred dollar or something like that. And I said, who is going to provide the other, the remaining money? He asked me that question. So I think by the time he sent the money, he sent double of it. That's human being. Chocolates of Almighty God. So if you can ask for this on this platform to Almighty God, now imagine what God is going to do. So the prayer over to you, Pastor Mike, why Pastor Dako is going to conclude. Please raise the power to Almighty God. The, our brother said he wants God to increase him. Except, exceptional. I, I mean, you know, something that's going the, among the family, among friends. Among colleagues, that God will bring him out, and in among them, you will see that this brother God has done something very, very uh, unique for him. So, Pastor Mike, it's over to you, and God is going to honor our prayer on him today in Jesus' name. Over Amen. to you, God, Pastor Mike. Amen. We have a hand of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray for. Our pastor is one of our pastors, actually. We are going to lift up the name of the Lord on his behalf. He has asked, he said, God should increase him greatly. We want to pray. The prayer we want to pray is this. God, more than his imagination, oh God, Increase him in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon God. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. More than his imagination. What he does not expect. The miracle he does not expect. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Give unto him, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Increase him on every side. Oh God, increase him on every side. Spiritually, increase him. Oh God, physically, increase him. Financially, increase him. Family-wise. 
is increasing in all ramification, increasing internationally, increasing. Oh God, oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Increase our pastor, oh God. Increase his faith, increase his anointing, increase the power of God upon his life. Oh God, my father, I pray, Lord, you will increase it. 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 You will increase it to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, we pray. Holy God, we are. We lift up his hand, oh God, unto you. Increase him, Father. Increase him, Father. Increase him, Father. Financially, increase him, Father. Oh God, contract wise, increase him, Father. Oh Lord, increase him, Father. Oh Lord, increase him, Father. In the work of his hand, increase him, oh God. 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 By the blood of Jesus. Increase him, oh God. By the power of God. Increase him, oh God. You are the one that gives us power to go to possess. Increase him, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We pray. Over to you, Pastor Dagbo. Pastor Dagbo, please, before you pray, I don't want, what I want to say of our chapter, what we are requesting for about our brother, but that there are some of our sisters that have been assisting us financially every week. I can't read the prayer request now, but mm. I want you to remember him, part two. That by the part, I don't know why God laid it in my heart. I don't normally want to say it because of past experience, but... Let me to pray for her that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will reward her abundantly in Jesus' name. So far to you, Pastor mm-hmm. Dabo. Do not forget our brother, the special prayer request, then the sister, then the general prayer request that you want to run up for. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Almighty God, we thank you for today. Thank you because our request, you have had it. Thank you. Amen. I thank you because we will get response to our request. Amen. Father, we adore you, Lord, and we appreciate you. Receive our praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Lord and our Father. The desire, the desire of us is that you increase us. Amen. My Lord and my Father, we pray that everyone increase us spiritually. Amen. On the same point, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will increase us numerically on this platform. Amen. We increase us physically and financially. Amen. You will increase in all ramifications of life. Increase us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 No one will be feeble among us. Amen. No one will be violent among us. Amen. No one will make mistakes in decision in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and our Father, we are praying. The grace of continuity to keep our altar on fire. That that fire. No demon will quench it. Give us that grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we lift up that sister that have been propagating the kingdom with the ability she has. The Bible says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I want you to understand that when we say riches, we are not talking only about money. He blesses you financially, blesses you spiritually, blesses your children, blesses everything you lay your hands on. Holy Spirit, release that blessing on her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For as many that want to do same, and he said that, Lord, provide for me too. Lord, help me too. You know, you can invite as many as possible. It's part of God's blessings and God's riches. You can... Whatever aspect God is laying in your heart, and as many have had that mind, Holy Spirit, bless them tremendously in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, we bless you that you never have finished in their life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
pray because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's a waste of unit, unit, because every time they pop up, the thing will fall down. Thank you very much. I pray. I join my pastor, pastor, pastor. All the all the limitation in the life of everyone that follow from the house, that follow from uh, from the bath, that follow from everywhere. That we just uh, we just stand like that, and it seems like we cannot go beyond that. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All that garment of limitation in your ministry, on your children, on your wife, on everything that concerning concerning you, in agreement with every one of us to honor the name of that for the name of the Lord to, to be honored. All that limitation limitation is removed from your life, from my life, from today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are ever my father. We are ever your mother. We are ever your mother. We are ever anybody in your family. Have not gone beyond. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. As a result of honor and nothing God has given to all our pastors. As a result of honoring the name of the Lord in our life. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. A million fold with every one of us will go beyond that in Jesus' name. Amen. Understand what I'm saying. Go and see the story of our GS. His father is a pastor, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not exaggerating, in Kerubu and Serafu. See where he is now. He has gone beyond the father in multiple homes. <laughs> go and look at the story of Dan Dangote. I'm very sorry to mention name. His father was in 1951 was the richest man in Africa. Go and look at where he is now. Go and look at David. Look at where Solomon go went. I mean, after David. This is what I'm saying. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. All the limitations that follow your ministry, all the limitations that follow your financial aspect, all the limitations that follow your physical aspect, all the limitations that follow you, everything you are laying your hand upon, including me, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, is being removed today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 By the power and the blood of James Paul, all what you are going to be doing is to be looking forward. All Amen. you will not go back in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go from the family in the name of Jesus Christ. So Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Share the grace together. Please praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, uh, before the grace, please, I we should not forget uh, the pastor's uh, prayer meeting. This is Pastor Ali, Victor. The pastor's prayer meeting coming up tomorrow. And I want to use opportunity to invite all our pastors that are in the platform uh, this morning or this afternoon. Please, let's not forget tomorrow prayer meeting. And it's very important. Also, I want to also invite our uh, brother Joseph Idowu. Also, please, you can join us tomorrow for the pastor's prayer meeting. And also, brother Eric, if you are still here, you can join us. Brother Peter, that was the uh, prayer request. Feel free to join us tomorrow. Because uh, you iron sharpened iron. Don't forget tomorrow, pastor's prayer meeting. Come along and invite other people as we pray together. The power of God will locate every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If I can get Pastor uh, uh, Benjamin's number, I need his number, please. I want to contact him, Pastor oh. Benjamin. Somebody can oh. help me forward his number to my private box. I'll be very grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Let's share the grace together. May the grace, May the grace of our Lord Jesus okay. Christ, the love of God, okay. and the fellowship okay. of the Holy Spirit okay. be with us okay. now, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, yet not I. I don't live by struggling anymore. I don't live by sleeping on hard ground anymore. I don't live by walking on pebbles anymore. I don't live by punishing myself anymore, thinking if I punish my flesh, if I punish myself, if I deny myself for sleep, if I deny myself for food, then I live the righteous. He said, no, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. Christ liveth in me. It's resurrection. It's not just that he rose from the dead, that living Christ, that reigning Christ, he reigns in me. He reigns in my heart. He reigns in my character. He reigns in my behavior. Reign, Master Jesus, reign. Reign, Master Jesus, reign over every act, over every action, over my behavior, over my identity here over my opinion over the old life reign he says but christ liveth in me and the life which i now live not the life of the past not the life under the law not the life under self-righteousness the new life the redeemed life the righteous life the ransomed life the life that is reconciled unto God. It says the life which I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. That's the new life of the believer. We're passed away from the time of the law. Now we come to the Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, a sanctifier and now because he lives inside us he produces the life of christ and the life of righteousness in us we're looking at romans chapter 6 and we're reading from verse 6 romans chapter 6 verse 6 knowing this that our old man is crucified the old man depraved man deceptive man deceptive nature in us that old man old character old habit old nature it says our old man is crucified with him is made impotent invalid is made 
powerless. That old man, the life we used to live, the character of the past, the habit of the past, that old nature is crucified and made impotent and powerless. It says that the body of sin, the total root of sin, and the one that generates and produces sin, that the body of sin might be destroyed. Not suppressed, destroyed, not managed, destroyed, not enlightened, destroyed, not controlled, destroyed. The life of the old man, the lust of the old man, the anger of the old man, and the fretting of the old man is not just to come under control, just to be subdued. It's not to be submerged within or under many of many other things that you know when you try to you grit your teeth when that anger comes and you are boiling on the inside and then you quickly run away from that place so that you will um, you will go to a place nobody will see and the psychologist might tell you let that anger come and then go somewhere and Picture somebody in front of you as if that is the person that is causing the anger. And every bad thing you wanted to say to that man, don't say that in the public. That will destroy your success. That can take your business away from you. That can put you in a class that you lose a lot of things. But go in the secret and punch that air and punch that person as if you are fighting a personality. That one is psychology. That one doesn't work. The anger is still there like a tiger, like a tyrant, like a lion. But when you come to Christ and you stretch yourself on the cross of Christ and you're crucified and you can say, I am crucified with Christ. And the old man is crucified and the body of sin destroyed that henceforth we shall not serve sin you will not serve sin clean and clear that the grace of God in our lives will bring the new life in our lives will totally be new look at verse 7 in verse 7 it says for he that is dead who is that crucified with Christ dead with Christ he that is dead is freed from sin. I am free. You believe that? I am free. The Lord confirmed that in your life in Jesus' name. Let's look at number two there. Number two, the consecrated lifestyle or behavior like Christ. Like Christ. What Christ will do. What Christ will say. How Christ will feel, how Christ will act, that your consecration, your devotion now is to live the life that Christ will live if Christ were here today. Now, when we say living like Christ, you have to think like Christ because it's our thought that brings our emotion. If something is happening and you look at it, you focus on it, you don't focus at what you have, the grace you have, the goodness of God and the provision of God, you focus on that thing, that focus will bring feeling. And then if that thing is a bad thing and you focus on it and you're thinking about that, your thoughts and your focus will bring a feeling of, it may be a feeling of rejection, a feeling of depression, a feeling of anger, a feeling of worry and anxiety because you had a wrong focus, a wrong feeling. And because of that, the way you feel is how you are now act. If somebody did something and you concentrate on that and you don't know who you are, a child of the king. A follower of Jesus Christ. A person that has Christ living on the inside of him. And you have to live like Christ. If you don't think like that, and you have the thought the other way, 
then action will come. And when you take an action that is wrong, an action that is wrong, another action that is wrong, it's like you're walking a particular path on a grass field. After you walk there, up and down a long time you'll make a pass on that grass field and naturally anyone coming you just walk on that automatically when you concentrate on the wrong thing on the wrong feeling on the wrong emotion on the wrong act and you act like that every time it becomes your personality your personality even without anything to be angry about you get angry nothing to be furious about you get furious nothing to you know shout about be worried about you get furious and you shout and you're worried and you're frightened but now when you come to Christ and you know that all that matters is what Christ will do how Christ will think you have the thoughts of Christ you have the mind of Christ you have the way of Christ you have the behavior of Christ, you have the lifestyle of Christ, and you are thinking of Christ, Christ every, every time that lives in you. It makes your life what your behavior, what your lifestyle ought to be. It will happen. It has happened already. That the life of Christ will be reproduced in your life in Jesus. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, it says, I am crucified what Christ we don't have time uh, for me to take you through uh, you know the way it ought to be uh, the way it ought to be is this when you read that sentence you emphasize the I whatever is happening around you you say I I I so and so you mention your name I am then you emphasize the am. I I um, then you emphasize the crucified, 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 old nature, crucified, the way I used to act, crucified, and the way I used to behave, crucified, and then with Christ, with Christ, you emphasize with Christ, and then later you read everything together, I am crucified with Christ. Anything happening around you, you remind yourself, I am crucified with Christ. I used to behave like that. I used to think like that. I used to talk in that other way. But now I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. The life I live now is exciting. The life I live now is productive because nevertheless, I live. And yet not I. I couldn't do this by myself. I couldn't act like this by myself. There is a power greater than my natural power. There is a power greater than my normal self that lives big in me now, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh, in the flesh, married flesh, in the flesh, bachelor's flesh, in the flesh, sweetest flesh, in the flesh, the life I now live on earth, no matter my situation, marriage or not married, job or no job, Christ is always happy, I'm happy, Christ is excited, I'm excited, Christ is purposeful, I'm purposeful, Christ is on top of the stormy sea, I'm on top of the stormy sea because the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me. Somebody else may doubt the love of God. He loves me. And what I'm going through, some people might say, if you're going through that, maybe God does not love you anymore. He loves me. Why? Love me enough to give himself for me. I pray this will be reproduced in every life in Jesus' name. And then you live like he would have been living if he were here right now. We're looking at First Peter chapter 2, and I'm reading from verse 21. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even here unto were ye called, even here unto were ye called. I am called to salvation. 
I'm called by the Savior and I'm called to live like the Savior because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye shall follow his test. Ye shall follow his test. What does that mean? I look at the life of Jesus and I look at the way and the place he places is uh, is is steps and then i see that step and whatever is happening now i say what will christ do in this condition in this situation how will he think how will he talk how will he live and how will he interact that he should follow his steps i pray you'll follow his steps look at philippians chapter 2 i'm reading from verse 5 philippians chapter 2 verse 5 it says let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus the mind that was in Christ Jesus now you're saved by grace and you come to God by 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 grace and you are in with Christ by grace now it's not just that I believe in the head I believe in the heart and now I have the mind of Christ the mind of Christ whatever we're hearing in the current affairs the mind of Christ whatever may be happening in economy ecology I have the mind of Christ. Whatever may be up or down, down or up, and whatever storm there may be, the mind of Christ. The mind that knows that whatever the Father has ordained, that is what will happen. And so we're not jolted, and we're not surprised, and we're not uh, distressed or discouraged because we have the mind of Christ. And that is what the new life and the new experience, that is what it does in our lives. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then we're looking at First John chapter 2 verse 6. First John chapter 2 verse 6. He that saith, he abideth in him, ought also so to walk, so to talk, so to think, so to behave, so to act, as Christ, as he himself also was. He that says, he abideth in him, ought himself also so to walk, even as Christ walked. Amen? Amen. Look up here. There are times in our lives when things happen, we have the knowledge in our head that whatever happens, I should live like Christ. The grace is there. The Christ is there. He lives on the inside of you. But when something happens, we have an automatic way of responding, of reacting. We never consult Christ. We never think of Christ. We're too fast in reacting. We're too fast in responding. And when you are like that, the old reaction, the old action, the old feeling is what will pop up every time. You have not even, you know, called for that, but that's what will happen. But if you can stop.